given Freemasons' interest in mathematics in the 17th century, they would have known of Johannes Kepler, who wrote this interesting article about the theorem of Pythagoras and what he called the division of a line into the extreme and mean ratio was how they defined the golden ratio. First you start with a line of, of value of 1, from there you add the hypotenuse using the golden ratio. Now find the second side uh, using the root of the golden ratio. Now from here we can construct the Pythagorean theorem. We have in this we have discovered his precious jewel. That is why masons wear jewels, not medals. The entered apprentice was shown how to place his feet and this forms a tau, which is the original symbol for the golden ratio. At school we are taught the Pythagorean theorem using the sides 3, 4 and 5. Using Kepler's theorem we only need to know the side, one side. Taking a, the integer of 5, then we're using his theorem, we can prove the other two sides. Thank you very much.